the 16th. Once again, seize the No Tropical Cyclones active graphic show up on the worldwide map today, and you guessed it, nothing is active on day 320 of the year, meaning that we are still at 87 storms that have formed so far this year, five away from the yearly average of 92 storms per year. Day 168 of hurricane season in the Atlantic, again it sees the no storms active graphic uh, up uh, as there is no activity expected here within the next 5 days. Now hopefully the Atlantic season is over and done with until next year. Day 184 of Eastern Pacific hurricane season and it is also quiet here as we yet again approach the end of hurricane season in, would you believe it, two weeks time. What a year it has been. Over in the Western Pacific, it is also quiet here. Uh, yet again, there are no storms or invests active in this part of the world. On to some activity in the North Indian Ocean. Uh, we will start this time with 92B in the Bay of Bengal which has had all chances just completely diminished uh, as it now has a 0% chance of formation in 5 days. Now there is an area of interest in the Arabian Sea which has some chances of forming but again it's not a high chance as it is a 10% chance of formation in 5 days. Over in the South Indian Ocean, no activity is present here, uh, granted that we are still just over two weeks into the South Southern Hemisphere seasons at this point in time. The Australian region, however, does have one area of interest active, but with a 10% chance of formation in the next five days. As we move on to the South Pacific, this part of the world also remains devoid of any activity today as the tropics in this part of the world are still warming up. Now looking at the satellite imagery starting off with the Atlantic, there really isn't much to report here apart from all the thunderstorm activity reported by the yellow flashing squares on your screen right now. The East Pacific also remains pretty quiet here with, again, not a lot of any activity of any kind going on here. The West Pacific is also fairly quiet as far as I can gather, uh, yet again there is not a lot of activity of any kind ongoing in this part of the world. 92B is pretty much gone and thus has a 0% chance, uh, you can't really even see it on the satellite really, but our 10% area of interest in the Arabian Sea has quite a bit of cloud cover, but its chance of formation still remains fairly low at a 10% uh, chance, uh, might I add. As the sun rises on the first area of interest of the, of the Australian season, I nearly said the Arabian season, excuse me, the Australian season, it still remains a fairly low chance, being a 10% chance, but we will keep an eye on this system in the coming days. The South Pacific still remains devoid of any tropical activity, and all that remains here are a few extra tropical uh, systems in this part of the world. Moving on to the sea surface temperatures, the West Pacific still remains largely 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, the Bay of Bengal registering around 28 degrees, the Arabian Sea registering 27 to 28, uh, the tropical Atlantic still remains at around 28 degrees, the Gulf of Mexico really is cooling down here with temps of what, I, as far as I can gather, the uh, low 20s uh, along the coastline of the United States. The tropical East Pacific is still registering around 27, the Central Pacific nearly 28, and as it, as it remains to be said, the Southern Hemisphere is still warming up with just off the coast of Australia's Northern Territory reaching temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius. The sea surface temperature anomaly starting off this time with the Eastern and Central Pacific remaining cooler than average, 
but the west coast of Mexico still remains above average. The La Nina still remains in full swing. The Atlantic remains pretty much above average. The West Pacific largely warmer than average. The Bay of Bengal is also above average. The Arabian Sea is mostly above with a large pocket of below average. Um, the Southwest Indian Ocean still remains mostly above. And finally, the South Pacific still remains half above and half below due to the La Nina that is currently in effect. On this day, all the way back in 1981, was Typhoon Heizen, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, which peaked today as a Category 3 equivalent uh, typhoon. It says cyclone in my notes, I should have foreseen that. Um, also active today was Subtropical Storm 3 in the Atlantic, and Tropical Storm Bessie Armel, which was weakening in the Southwest Indian Ocean today in 1981. And that's that. Uh, next up in the Atlantic storm naming lists, that is if a system forms, uh, we start the auxiliary list with Adria followed by Braylon. Up next in the Eastern Pacific is Vivian followed by Waldo. And up next in the Central Pacific still remains to be Hone. Up next in the Western Pacific on list 4 remains Nieto followed by Rai. Up next in the North Indian Ocean remains to be Jawad, followed by Asani. First up this season in the Australian region is Paddy, followed by Ruby. First up in the Southwest Indian is Anna, followed by Batserai. And finally, up next in the South Pacific is Cody, followed by Dovi. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.